गुड इवनिंग हेलो हेलो गुड इवनिंग टीचर गुड इवनिंग वेलकम नाइस टू मीट यू नाइस टू मीट यू टू लेटर आई एम गोइंग टू गिव माय जनरल इंफॉर्मेशन इन ऑर्डर दैट वी कैन गेट फैमिलियर विद द वंस दैट दे डोंट नो मी वेरी वेल Okay, welcome to all of you. It is a pleasure to be here. As I can see, I have people that I have worked with then in the previous module, but also I got a new one. I'm going to wait for the rest in order to introduce myself and give my general info. And then we are going to start talking about the topics that we are going to study today. Welcome to all of you. It is a pleasure. English Corporativo les da la bienvenida. Es un placer para nosotros y poder iniciar un módulo más. So we are ready to do it. Welcome to all of you.
What we are going to do is just, uh, um, we are going to let the new ones introduce themselves in order to get uh, the information. And later on, we are going to have the opportunity to say hello to everyone in order that you can test your microphone and speaker. Bobby is there. Hello, Bobby. Welcome. Nice to see you again. Don Jose Aleman is there too. Don Jonathan is there too. Oh, a lot of people that I already know. It is a pleasure to me to be here with you again. Uh, in this module, we are going to learn new terms, new structures. So I hope that you got the power not to do it. Wow, wow, okay, no, okay. <laughs> okay, you are so happy today listening to music. Well, before to attend the uh, Take a look at the attendance. I would like to know if all of you got the material. Uh, yes, let me know if you got the material already or not. So if you don't have it, I'm going to share it right here soon. But if you already have it, just let me know, please. I guess at the moment that they send you the email, active, there you can find a way how to download the material. So uh, if you don't have it, just let me know, please. Remember, this is module three. That means that we are going to speak English more than Spanish. But suddenly, if you have any questions so far, you can ask me questions related with the topic. And I'm going to give you my help in order that you can understand better. Okay, Ingrid is there too. Welcome, Ingrid. Glad to see you. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let me first share the material with you. Okay, hold on a second, please.
Okay, you got it there. So you can, if you don't have it, you can download it. Si no tengo el material, por favor, ahí lo puede descargar. I got it now. Okay, I'm going to check out the attendance. Uh, let me see how many people, 15. Well, I'm going to do it later on. Okay, hold on a second. Let me see here. Okay, I'm already second, Okay, here we go. America Elizabeth Cruz, are you there, America? Are you out of America? Just let me know if you can hear me very well. Me van avisando, por favor, si me están oyendo bien. Yes, teacher, I can listen. Okay. Yes, America, teacher. America is not here. Uh, America. Okay, Carlos. I'm here. Carlos America. Hola, presente. Okay, welcome. What a second place. I need to do something here. I don't know why it's not working properly. Okay, Cecilia Maribel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Edwin Alexis Perez. Present, teacher. Okay, is there too? Welcome. Uh, Edwin Alfredo. Edwin Alfredo. It's not here. Esmeralda del Rosario. 
Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Thank you. Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Gisela Guadalupe. Gisela. Hello, Gisela. Hector Enrique. Good evening, present. Good evening, sir. Ingrid Geraldina. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Jonathan. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Present. Mr. Perez. Jose Ernesto Aleman Garcia. Present teacher. Okay, ahora sí estamos con buen micrófono. Excellent, excellent. Eh, Catherine Paola. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Uh, Candy Natalie. Where are Present you? teacher. Okay, is there two? Um, Mauricio Antonio. I don't see you here, Mauricio. Uh, Mercedes Alejandra Rivas. Present. Okay, welcome. Uh, Roxana Alvarez. Present teacher. Roxy, Roxy. Roxana Landa Verde. Present teacher. Okay, welcome to Sara. Where are you, Sara? Sara. Está de oyente. Say hello, say hello at least. Okay, Sergio Adolfo. Sergio Adolfo. Present, good evening. Okay, good evening, welcome. Janet del Carmen. Janet. It's not here. Okay, uh, Yesenia Lisset. Yesenia Lisset. Now? Okay, we got all the name here in my list. As I told you before, okay, for the ones that are new, my name is Max Lasso. Uh, I got a bachelor degree in English and I have worked in different universities like uh, University of El Salvador. And I'm here just to give you a hand in order to learn a new language. So we are going to start. But before I uh, show you my slides, my presentation, I would like to start with talking about evacuation. But before that, I would like to hear um, only the ones in this group that introduce themselves. You can uh, just share all the information that you consider that you can share with us. So I'm going to ask Hector to introduce himself. And later on, we are going to continue with Mercedes Alejandra and the rest. Okay, Hector, welcome. It is a pleasure to be here with you. And I would like to have more information about you. Hi, uh, my name is Hector Santa Maria. I'm 36 year old. I study in University of El Salvador. And I work in, in Grupo Eje. I like in uh, play football and I like a Mexican folk. Okay. Somebody else new in this group? Hola, hola. Hello. Hey, hello. 
Okay, Mercedes, tell us. Uh, my name is Mercedes Rivas. Years uh, old is 38. Um, I'm working in Grupo Eje. Uh, studying University Politécnica de El Salvador. Um, okay. What else? Okay, thank you. Somebody else. I didn't ask. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Emilcar Campos. Uh, I was studying in UTEC. Uh, my work is in Grupo uh, Eje. I like the football. Uh, and my favorite view is the pizza. Thanks. No. Okay. Okay, thank you. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, please. Hello, my name is Roxana Alvarez. I live in Quesaltepeque, La Libertad. I work as a teacher. Oh, okay, you work as a teacher. In which level? In preparatoria, o sea, oh. como se dice. Okay. Kinder 6, sí. Okay, please go. Okay, thank you. Ok, alguien más que no haya estado en este grupo. Hi, teacher. Hello. My name is Esmeralda Portillo. Uh, I live in Lourdes, Colón. Okay. I work in Alas Doradas. Alas Doradas. Okay. My free time, I like uh, to do exercise. Oh, okay. And watch TV. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else? No. ¿Alguien más? ¿Ya no tenemos nuevos? Hi. Hello. Hi, uh, my name is Sergio Hernández. It's my first time in this class. Uh, uh, I am 34 years old and I work technical support in Grupo Eje. Uh, yeah, I like uh, to make it for. Okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody's missing? No? Does it? Okay, um, let me see how many people, well, I'm going to share a general information related with the course in order that uh, I know that you already know this, but I need to show you this because in that way we are going to get familiar with all the information. This is this is based in module three, um, and we are going to start today. And I would like to share with you general information about the course. Para los que no han estado conmigo en, est 
ningún módulo. Aquí está alguna información referente a mi información académica. Eh, de forma muy breve. Ahí pueden eh, darle una miradita. Y poco a poco nos vamos a ir eh, familiarizando más. Ok, lo que más quiero recalcar es precisamente sobre esto. Habla de las tareas y las evaluaciones. Esto es de rigor, siempre tenemos que hacerlo. Eh, es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder aprobar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. Eh, imagino que a estas alturas ya le llegó el correo electrónico con el enlace para poder accesar a la plataforma. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes. En este caso, como vamos a iniciar hoy, va a ser justamente cada miércoles a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. Y luego, bueno, con la fecha del midterm y el final test, se los voy dando luego porque el midterm aparece en la semana 2 y el final test aparece justamente en la semana última. El manual puede ser descargado en la plataforma, no se utiliza material de terceros en ninguna sesión. En el caso del manual, yo lo he compartido ya con ustedes en el chat de Zoom. Y los requerimientos, nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma, en caso de oyente, agregar la palabra oyente, luego de su nombre. Algo muy importante, cámara encendida durante toda la sesión, minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible y algo muy importante es la participación activa. De esa manera va a desarrollar usted las habilidades que son necesarias en el aprendizaje de un nuevo idioma. Bueno, ya esto casi que se lo saben de memoria, pero tengo que leérselo siempre. Asistencia al 100% de las clases, cumplir los 120 minutos de clase, eso genera una asistencia efectiva por cada sesión. La asistencia se toma en dos ocasiones, mínimo 8.20 pm y 9.40 pm o al final. Se tomará como válida el escuchar al participante decir presente y tener cámara encendida. Ojo, ahí están las instrucciones. Luego, uh, en la siguiente parte, hay sesiones uno a uno disponibles para cada participante, las cuales son asignadas eh, de acuerdo al orden de la lista. Se les asigna 10 minutos a cada uno al finalizar la clase para poder aclarar las dudas que tengan. Y algo eh, importante también, permisos no disponibles, significa que como tutor no tengo la facultad de estarle eh, dando permisos. Usted, en caso de complicaciones, puede escribir al grupo para que la parte administrativa pueda ver lo que usted está solicitando y es la parte administrativa la que toma cartas en el asunto. Luego, eh, en la parte de Zoom, ya llevamos tres, vamos sobre el tercer módulo. Ya debemos de saber dónde está el botón silencio, el mute, la cámara para encender o apagar, el chat, el breakout rooms. El, eh, espero que solucionemos lo que nos pasó en lo anterior que se conectaban entraban a los breakout solamente una parte, el resto por cuestiones no quizás de conexión no podían acceder eh, y también saber dónde se encuentra el botón ask for help si necesita ayuda y lo más importante respeto ante todo Bueno, creo que esa es una información general. Hasta ahorita, uh, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. 
No sé si hay alguna pregunta que hacer o que decir hasta ahora. Lo siento así como muy, muy silenciosos. No sé qué les sucede. La vacación me los ha enviado así. Tired. I don't know why. But I hope that you enjoy it with your family. And uh, in fact, in order to start talking about the new topic, what we are going to do is just to make a review related with your vacation. You are going to tell me in one or in one minute or one and a half minutes what uh, what is the most important thing that you did during the your vacation? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Okay. Sonido ambiente. Sorry, sorry, teacher. Sorry. Okay, don't, don't, don't worry, don't worry. That usually happens. No se preocupen, de repente sucede. Eso es común. Okay, um, as I told before, what I want to hear is yeah, that you tell me in English in the one and a half minute. How uh, did you spend your vacations? In fact, uh, if I'm going to talk about myself, I would like to tell you that oof was pretty busy for me uh, and pretty difficult because I had to work uh, until, let me see, until Wednesday. And I have a lot of paper to, to do in order to, to finish my, 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 my duties in my job. So, uh, in other words, I have only just three days off in order to spend with my family, you know. But I try to do my best. Okay, what, what can you tell me about? What about you? Tell me. The moment that you that you went to the to the feria, the people said the feria. Yeah, you know. Okay, let us talk about. Okay, who wants to start? Teacher, I was all time in my house. Really? Yeah. I can't believe it. In the church and in the night and every day in my house. Only your house? Yes. My goodness. I don't know why you, you, you didn't go to different activities. Nothing more play with my baby. Oh, and taking care of your baby? Yes. Nothing more, teacher. Okay. Okay, somebody else wants to tell me something about... Uh, me, teacher. Okay, tell me. Uh, my vacation, I um, go to drink a cup of coffee at Cerro Verde with my mom and my sister. And, and stay in my home. Okay. Okay, don't forget that if you are going to talk about past event, you are going to use simple past verbs. I went to. I went to. I enjoy. I did this. Okay, what else? Come on, tell me. You don't want to talk about your vacation? No. What about you, Carlos Amilcar Campos? 
What can you tell us about your vacation? Did you enjoy it with your family? Just tell us. Uh, no, uh, on my vacation, uh, I was working a uh, very lot time, and I have a I had a one day free, and I stay on home. Oh, okay, I got it. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, what else? Somebody else, tell me. Me, teacher. Okay, um, Hector, tell us. Me, on my vacation, I work on my home, and I run in the night at night. Only. Okay, that's it. Okay, somebody else. No les creo que no hayan ido al Tagada. Teacher, I spend a holiday working. Ah, not in vacation. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, what about the rest of the group? Teacher. Hello, sir. I work it. Oh. I don't have vacation teacher you didn't have any day off i'm sorry okay i'm going to switch the topic in that way bueno como nadie tuvo vacaciones ya no les hablo más de vacation voy a cambiar el tema porque lo voy a poner así como nostálgicos you know okay let us start talking about the topic for today Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, here we go. Okay, we are going to some module three today, and this is the first activity that we are going to do. Let's start. And number one, say it is important for a staff to know the mission and vision of the company and why. And the second one, how does your everyday work take the company closer to the vision? Okay, let us talk about mission and vision of the company. And what can you tell me about? Do you think it is really important to know that or not? If you don't understand something, just tell me no. Uh, just let me know if you have problem with the word or if you have some doubts related with that, please. Okay, what, what can you tell me about the first question? It is important for the staff to know the mission and vision. Yes, teacher, it's, it's very important. The vision and mission. Oh, okay. Um, I don't remember the who is the vision and mission in my workplace. Okay. In this moment, I don't remember. You don't remember? Uh -huh. No, teacher. Okay. And also we have a, a word there, an extra word say, why do you consider it so important? Tell me a reason why it's so important to know the mission and vision of the company. And also we have the second question that say, how does your everyday work take the company closer to the visions. Como su trabajo diario lo acerca a esa visión de la compañía suya. Tell us. I'm waiting, I'm waiting.
स्क्रीन है हेलो no, no, रोम्पा para que lo puedas pegar o lo vas a pegar en tu en tu ¿Dónde lo vas a pegar? ¿A dónde lo vas a pegar? Okay, I need to do something here. I'm sorry. I need to mute all. Okay. Um, let me tell the number of the page in your material where. Okay, it's page number nine. We are talking about the the important for the staff to know the mission and vision of the company. But try to remember, I don't know if in your company you have it in in some areas and you can read it every morning that you get in, in, in the company. Maybe you have it there. Ok, preguntamos, preguntamos, comprendemos eh, la primera pregunta. Yes or not, tell me. Yes. Ok. What about the rest of the class? ¿Qué dicen los demás? ¿Sí entendemos la pregunta 1? Yes or no? Chao, just let me know. Yes. Okay. Remember, uh, uh, I already told you that what I, what I need is that you participate. And tell me, what do you think about when I ask you a question? Um, I am waiting for your answer, so try to do it. Gabriela Ramirez is coming. Welcome, welcome. I am here, teacher. I am uh -huh. here. I don't know what is happening with you. <laughs> I am tired. Ah, oh, you look tired again. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. Bad. Okay, let us go back again to the question. Uh, I'm going to read again. It is important for a staff to know the mission and vision of the company and why. And the second one, how does your everyday work take the company closer to the vision? I need that you give me an answer to each question. The first uh, is important because we, we need um, to be the better of the best. Every day we, we have to, um, we'll be, the better of the best. Okay. And the second. I can understand the second question, teacher. Okay. How does your everyday work? Como su trabajo diario se, se acerca a la visión de la compañía, lo que la compañía quiere, lo que usted hace. ¿Será que lo que usted hace está rumbo a, a la visión de la compañía o estamos en dirección equivocada? Mm. Remember every that... day, oh, okay. Every day I, I, I work very, very fast because I need give give work to my to my boss and i i do my i do my work mm, 
concentrada. Focus. Focus. Uh, para no tener errores. Focus in my job in order to avoid mistakes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Well, um, I need to stop chatting and I would like to hear to the rest of the class in order that you can tell me. Okay, I'm going to give you a homework tomorrow. I need uh, you take a picture about the vision and mission of the, your company. And we are going to discuss right here in the class. Bueno, les voy a dejar una tareita para mañana. Busquen dónde está la misión y visión de su empresa. Y la vamos a, a, a ver acá. Ok. Ok, teacher. Of course, maybe it is in Spanish and you are going to blend it into English, right? Because we need to know exactly uh, those terms. Necesitamos manejar esos términos. Recordemos que estamos hablando de inglés para el trabajo, por eso van a aprender eh, términos nuevos. So let me see the time that we have now. Well, I don't know if somebody else wants to talk about mission and vision of their companies. Teacher. Hello, sir. I identify in the mission in my workplace because say I, um, I found children disappearing in civil war in El Salvador. Ah, oh, okay. Entonces, I, um, I like it. Uh, I like it my job, teacher. Okay. Okay, thank you, somebody else. Hello. Well, I'm going to continue if you don't want to, to participate. Okay, let us start talking about this conversation. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a pattern. This conversation is between Diana and Celia. I'm going to read it. And I need that you pay attention, please. Okay, I'm going to read it. Do you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We, we should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision as a company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests uh, feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Okay, pay attention about this conversation, please. Because right here, you are going to find out the answer of what is the vision and what is the mission. So I invite you to read it. I'm going to give you two minutes to read it. And later on, we are going to talk about. So try to read it by yourself, please.
Okay, time is over. Okay, tell me, I'm going to read again. I'm going to read it again. And later on, if you have any question, uh, just let me know, please. Okay, do, do you hear about the visit of manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read then. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most prefer beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Okay, question before to practice this. Tell me. Hello. Hello. What is the meaning guest, teacher? Guest, guest. Guest. Cuando usted llega a un hotel, usted se convierte en un guest. Guest. Dime, dime. Sí. Invitados, algo así. Podría ser. Un huésped. Un huésped, es lo correcto. Sí. Entonces, mira lo que dice. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from checking to check out. Nuestra misión es hacer que nuestros huéspedes se sientan en casa, como en casa, desde que entran hasta que salen. Esa es la misión. And what about the, the vision? What can you tell me about? ¿Y cuál será la visión? Tell me. Necesito que tengamos claro estos dos términos. Because later on you are going to create your own vision and mission. In English, of course, it's going to be. Okay, no question? Hello? No, teacher. I understand uh, the vision is to be the best uh, hotel in the beach. Ah, okay. It's something that they wish. Something that they want to get in the future. Hasta donde quieren ellos llegar. Esa es la visión. Okay, somebody else wants to ask something about... Hello. Hola, hola, hola. Están muy quietos. Okay, I'm going to read again. Lo voy a leer una vez más. Later on, you are going to practice in a breakout room. 
So try to connect it. Okay. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We, we should uh, be ready to answer the question of so what the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read then. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Okay, questions? No? No, teacher. Okay, teacher. okay please uh, take a screenshot, Ingrid. Tell me, Ingrid. Podría repetir cómo se pronuncia eh, the most preferred, pre, no sé. Ah, the es, most preferred beach. Oh. Preferred. 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 Beach hotel by families. Ok, en el módulo previo creo que les di algo de cómo pronunciar el ED, ¿cierto? Do you remember that? No. We have three different ways how to pronounce the ED sounds. Do you remember? Who wants to tell me? ¿Quién me lo menciona? Las tres maneras de pronunciar el ED, I told you, I told you, I remember. We have three different groups. No. Okay, take a screenshot, please. Haga una captura, por favor. Y si gusta, la puede compartir al grupo. Tell me. Okay, let us see before to go to the breakout room. I need uh two people who wants to read it right here, right now, in order to see. Okay, compartanla en el grupo de WhatsApp. Not in the Zoom chat, it's in WhatsApp group, please. Because sometimes, yeah. hello? Uh, okay, our mission is to make poor, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Guest. Guest. Yes, our guest. 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 Oh. guest. Our guest. Guest. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Ok, vean, me voy tomando el tiempo de preguntarles si, si tienen duda en alguna palabra, porque a la hora de hacer la práctica quiero que lo hagan de la forma más adecuada. Pero si usted no me pregunta, entonces yo asumo de que sí se comprendió completo todo lo que yo leí. So, what I... What I am going to do is just to go to the next step. I have a question. Okay, Sergio, tell me. And the expression, let's spread them, what the mean? Let's. Let's read them. Yeah, let's read them. He's talking about mission and vision. Okay. Leámoslas, le dice, leámosla. ¿El que van a leer? La misión y la visión. Ok. Ok, because previously, uh, uh, if you can see right here, talk about, about mission and ambition of the company.
Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to ask something? No, I'm going to stop chatting. Let me go. Hello? Ahí en donde era check into, check, check out. Como, yo recuerdo que usted esa, esa, pala, esa parte la hizo como, como unida. Yes, check in, check out. Check in, check, check in out. to check, check, check in to check out. Check out, check out. Check out, okay, teacher. Thank you. Check in, the check in. And check out. Ya sabemos que es cierto. Yes, teacher. Okay. Here we go. Let me create the breakout rooms. Uh, I got only just six in. Bueno, no sé por qué, pero siempre es el primer día y hacen falta cuatro personas, seis personas. O no se dieron cuenta o qué pasó, pero más creo que sí. Ok, let me create the breakout room first. Ok, I'm going to hit go. Okay, I guess five minutes is enough in order to talk about this. Here we go. Please accept my invitation now that you can go to break out the room, please.
Ingrid, hello. Are you there? Hello. hello. I saw you alone. That's the reason why I'm here in order to give you a hint. And that way you okay. can no problem. Session, right? Okay, let me shut it. I hear. Can you see it now? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to start and you are going to be Celia, right? Okay. Okay, I'm going to start. Let me get bigger first in order that you can see better. Okay, we have here. Okay, here we go. Do you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We shall be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read then. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Okay, hold on a second. The time seems to be finished. Okay, let us finish. Um, Hello, Sergio. Sorry, sorry. Time was over. Se nos terminó el tiempo, Ingrid. Nos quedamos a medias con la conversación. I'm really sorry about that. Okay, who wants to start? Let us see who wants to do it. Uh, in order that you can see it, uh, I'm going to share it here. Okay, here we go. Who wants to be the phone? Tell me. Hello. Quien inicia? Quien inicia? Por favor. Me, teacher. Okay, Smeralda. Uh, with who? <laughs> well, let us, uh, uh, I, I can give you a hand if you want, if you don't have anybody there. Jerry? I can help you if you want. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, it's up to you if you want to start or want to be the second one. Uh, up to you. Diana. Okay, you want to be Diana? Yes. Okay, okay. go ahead, lady. Okay. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read then. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel fun from checking to check out. Right, our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right, our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Somebody else wants to do it. With your partner that you practice. Con su compañero que hizo la práctica, por favor. But let us do it now, please. I need that you practice. This is the only way that we have in order to develop our skills. Come on, I invite you to do it. I teach it by my partner. Okay, go ahead, Don Jose Aleman. Hi. Hi. Did you hear about the vision of the minor manager today? I did. 
We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's write them. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right, our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. The right of vision tell where our business want to go in the future. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Don't forget to pronounce all the words. That's that's right. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Wants to get in the future. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? Teacher, podemos con mi compañero Sergio? Yes, Oscar, you can do it, Roxana. Sergio, está por ahí? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready, be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right, our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right, our vision does where our business went to there in the future. Okay, lady, I need that you repeat this word, describes. 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 Okay, describes. Describes. Okay, thank you. Okay, next, who, who wants to continue? Uh, I saw a hand up, be una mano arriba, I don't know. Oh, okay, it's English. English, English there. Okay, English. Who's your partner in English? I don't know. Someone help me. Somebody, <laughs> somebody wants to help her. If you don't want to do it, I'm going to do it. It's up to you. Choose. Diana or Cecilia, or Celia, I'm sorry, Celia, not Cecilia, Celia. Celia. You want to be Celia? Yeah. Okay, did you hear about the visit of the manager share today? I did. We shall be ready to answer question about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read then. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. Okay, that's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Only Thank word you. that I would like that you repeat again is this one, answer, answer. Yes. Repeat, answer, answer, answer. to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Okay, this answer, teacher. This answer. 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 
Hans. Can I do it, teacher? Yes, sir, you can do it. With my partner. Yes, with, with, my with partner. your partner, right. Okay, go ahead, do it. Uh, Carlos. Uh, aquí estoy. Um, uh, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We shall be ready to answer question about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check it check in to check out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business want to get in the future. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, in the in the future. In the future. In the future. In the, in the future. In the future. Future. Yeah, and sometimes you are future. going to Okay, tell me. Yo la palabra esa la decía answer. Answer. Yes. And uh, for example, we shall be ready to answer question. To answer, answer. Answer. It is like the word future. Some people say uh, future. Future. And, and for example, in New York, you can hear it like a future. In the future. They all depend on the, the kind of people that is speaking. Uh, you are going to hit it in a different way. The white one, they are going to say future. And the uh, colored people, they are going to say future. Future. And you can notice the difference between future and future, you know? Okay, thank yes. you. Okay, okay. So, somebody else wants to do it? Again, Mas? Teacher, I have a question. Okay, Esmeralda, tell me. What is your eh, question? Bueno, le voy a preguntar en español. ¿Cómo es lo mejor para, para decir 2020? ¿Sería así como lo decimos 2020? O... Well, it, it's going to be very if we say uh, 2020. No importa cómo lo digamos, no, no hay problema. No, es que no vive, es mejor decirlo 2020 porque eh, del 90, de 1999 hacia abajo pues, partimos en dos partes. Por ejemplo, si es 1972, 1972. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. We divided, but in this case, I guess, well, sometime in an informal way we can say 2020, but Sometimes it's, good. it's going to be very informal if, if we say 2020. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, one is colloquial. It is, it's very common well, that we can use it out of an office. But inside an office, sometimes we need to use, we tend to use another kind of words and vocabulary. Eso también tenemos que aprender lo que... Bueno, lo que estamos aprendiendo es simple un eh, idioma académico y luego viene la otra parte que es la coloquial, que es lo que usa la persona fuera de una oficina o de un negocio formal. Y por eso nosotros eh, siempre vamos buscando la parte, que, la parte profesional del idioma. Pero también existe la otra parte coloquial, lo que estaba hablando que cuando personas de color pronuncian la palabra futuro, ellos no, no se les oye así como future, sino que future, future. Entonces hay una diferencia entre eh, ambos colores, the white one and the color people, you know. Lo mismo que sucede en las canciones, si tú oyes a alguien blanco cantar y luego pones a alguien de color, vas a encontrar cierta diferencia, ¿no? 
en la pronunciación. Okay, somebody else wants to uh, participate? Yes, let me know, please. No, anybody else? Ya todos pasaron. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and I need to tell you something about. Okay, voy a detener la, la, lo que estoy compartiendo solamente para abrir un paréntesis y invitarles, por favor. Necesito que todos participemos. Sé que algunos están de oyentes, por obvios motivos, tienen sus cámaras cerradas. Eh, lo más importante cuando yo expliqué las normas, mencionamos que debemos de tratar de mantener la cámara abierta porque si yo llamo a alguien de los que tiene cámara cerrada y no me responde dos, tres veces, vamos a asumir que solamente dejo conectado ahí, pero que no está. Entonces, así no va a haber aprendizaje y lo que nosotros queremos es garantizarle que sí va a aprender con nosotros. No que pase el tiempo y al final del módulo usted va a decir, no, no aprendí nada. Pero necesitamos que usted esté atenta, atento. I know that sometimes uh, it's really difficult because our duties that we have to do in, uh, in the day, but we have to make an effort in order to stay up in all the class. Okay, question, somebody else wants to continue participating or not? Okay, if you don't want to do it, I'm going to continue. Si ustedes no quieren participar, bueno, yo voy a continuar. Pero quiero dejar muy en claro que siempre les doy la oportunidad de que puedan participar a todos. Y si hay alguna expresión simple, sencilla, que no la comprende, pregunte. Para eso estoy acá. Estoy para ayudarle. Si de repente oye que estoy pronunciando muy rápido, también avíseme para poderle bajar un poco. Si hay algo que no lo comprende al momento que lo pronuncio, haga la pregunta. Could you repeat again, please, teacher? Repeat again this word. How do you pronounce this word? What is the meaning of this word? What I want is just to create an environment that all of you need to use English to communicate your ideas. That is the main point because uh, what we want is just to help you develop your skill in English. So try to do it. I know that this is level three or a basic, a really beginner level, but I need to put in uh, context all the information in order that you can use it. Bueno, lo que yo trato es de crear el ambiente en inglés completo para que su oído se vaya adaptando a lo que estamos haciendo. Sé muy bien que estamos en un nivel tres principiante, pero Yo necesito que vaya usted poniéndose eh, listo con su oído para poder comprender la forma de cómo la entonación y la pronunciación de las palabras. Ok, no question at all. So far from here. No, anybody? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? ¿O estoy siendo claro con lo que estoy diciendo? Sí, yes, escucha. Okay, what about no question, teacher? No questions, okay. Well, let, let us continue then. Anybody have any questions? But don't forget, because we are going to need it later on. Vamos a utilizar más después, más tarde, el, lo, el concepto de lo que es misión y lo que es visión. Ya dije que acá quedaba muy claro. Eh, Aquí especifica y dice que la misión describe el por qué existe nuestro negocio, nuestra oficina. Y la visión 
es hasta dónde queremos nosotros llegar, qué es lo que deseamos. Eso es simple. Si nosotros conocemos la visión y la misión de nuestra empresa, vamos a hacer todo para poder llegar hasta ahí. So, uh, I'm going to continue. Okay, this is activity number two. You can find it in your material too. So, a really mission statement of successful companies and match them to the companies on the right. And later on, you are going to compare your answer with the pattern. So, if you don't have your material, uh, you can uh, take on a screenshot and result, and later on, we are going to compare. This is a, a machine activity. I'm going to give you a five minute in order that you can resolve. Just try to do it.
Okay, I'm going to read letter A to be the most customer centric company in the world where people can find and discover anything they want to buy online. Let it be said to be the global energy company most admired for its people, partnership, and performance. Let us see to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. And let it be to inspire and nurture the human spirit one person, one cup, and one neighborhood at a time. And we have Chevron, Starbucks, Amazon, and Nike. Here, little Amazon. Excuse me? Here, Letter A? Amazon. It's Amazon? Yes. Ah, okay. Let us see. Well, I'm going to close the line here, right here. Okay. Let us see now, teacher. Okay, hold on a second, please. Let me put some arrows here. You say this one is this one. Okay, what about letter B? Letter B, Lebron, Chevron. Letter B? No sé cómo se dice, pero Chevron. Chevron, Chevron. The global energy company most admired its people. Teacher, what is the meaning? Partnership. What is the meaning of? A partnership. Partnership in performance. El compañerismo. I mind what is people partnership in performance. Okay. Remember that one English word can have more than five minutes, all depend on the context too. Teacher, let us see is nice. Let us see. Nice. Nike. Nike, Nike. And what about the last one, letter D? Starbucks. Starbucks. Oh, okay, Starbucks. Okay, it's gonna be right here. Not sure, the human spirit. One cup and one neighborhood at a time. Uh-huh, okay. Okay, take a look at this. If we talk about mission and vision, which one do you consider that we have here? We have mission or vision? ¿Qué creen que tenemos aquí? Mission. 
Vision, teacher. Vision. Vision, teacher. The first. Vision. Okay. It's because vision. in the five one say where people can find and discover anything they want to buy online. Okay. The mall to greet the global energy company must admire for its people, partnership, and performance. And let us see to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. And let us do to inspire the nature, the human spirit. One person, one cup, and one neighborhood at a time. Okay, if you got it this way, you got it in the right way. Okay, let me erase. Okay, let us continue then. How to use infinitives? Check exercise two and three, what pairs are used to write the mission and vision statements. So if you got your material, I need that you go back and you can check it. Exercise number two and three. And you are going to discover uh, what pairs are used to write the mission and vision statements. Si usted se regresa al ejercicio 2 y 3, verá qué verbos son los que se usan para la misión y visión. Y ahí tenemos to make, to become, to be, to bring, to inspire, or may become, be, bring, or inspire. Which one is the right one? ¿Cuáles cree usted que son los correctos? Chao. Dime, dime, dime. Uh, I think that to is the, the form to make, to become, to be, to bring, to inspire. Okay, perfect, sir. Thank you. Okay, forms that consist of two plus base form of the verb are called infinitives. Infinitives are used to express purpose, like a mission statement, e.g. Why does the company exist? To bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. Infinitives are also used to express direction, like a mission statement. Example, where is the company going? Our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. Okay, try to re read it, please. And if you have any question, ask me, please. No questions? Hello? Hello, hello? Hello? No teacher, no question. Okay, what about the rest of the class? No teacher, no question. No questions.
Okay, I got a question. What is an infinitive? An infinitive is the word to plus the very form plus the verb. It often functions as a noun, a subject, or a titled object. Can also function as an adjective or an adverb. Even though to is a preposition, it's not a preposition when it is combined with the verb for us a verb. It is an infinitive. Ojo con esa parte. Okay, let me move a little bit. My goodness, hold on a second. All of these are infinitive to sing, to dance, to go, to play, to teach, to work. Remember, infinitives are usually recognized because of the word to plus the verb. An infinitive will almost always begin with to followed by the simple form of the verb. I need that you keep in mind these two concepts. Necesito que se grabe estos dos conceptos, por favor. Cuando son infinitivos, eh, llevan el tú antes del verbo. Yes. El tú no va a poder identificarlo. Yeah, uh, the, the two particles help us to recognize it. La partícula tú nos ayuda para reconocerlo fácilmente. Pero ojo con lo que sigue porque dice que an infinity will almost always, casi siempre va a comenzar con la partícula tú. Hay un espacio abierto todavía ahí. O sea, teacher, que puede haber casos que no empiecen con el tú y que, y que sí sean infinitivos. Yes, but most of them are going to start in that way. This is the formula that we are going to use it. Formula two plus ver, uh, the verb form is equal to infinity. You cannot add S, E, S, E, D, or H, N, G to T, N, ever. No se les agrega S, E, S, E, D, O, I, N, G al final. Okay, practice and identify the infinity. Okay, yes, I'm going to give you uh, like a uh, minute in order that you can read it and identify the infinity there in these sentences. Okay, try to read the place and then tell me.
Okay, tell me. And the first is, is to watch. Okay. He, he wanted to watch the dog in the yard. Okay, somebody else in the second one, please tell me. It's to hit and the second. The coach taught him to hit the curveball. To hit. Okay, number three. To write. To write, okay. The student had to write a report about the famous detective. And the last one? To hear. No one wants to hear from you, okay? Thank you. Okay, this is exercise number five. You can find it in your material too. I'll read the same in below, correct? Before me say, refer to the use of infinitive. And later on, we are going to compare answer with a pattern, okay? Go ahead and resolve, please.
Okay, let us start checking. Number one is done. What about number two? Who wants to tell me? If we have a mistake or not in number two. Lola. There is no mistake. There is no mistake in, in the number two. Our mission is to provide healthy, tasty, and economic meal to construction worker, whatever they are. Okay, that is right. What about number three? Number three. No mystery is the correct to be. It is correct or there is a mistake, Tom? It's correct. It's correct? Yes. It's two plus verb. We aim to be the number one cleaning service provider for financial institutions. Okay, what about number four? This mistake. Where? Yeah, uh, ing bringing. Ah, okay. It's to bring. We can't say to bring in. Okay. Eso lo lo vimos al inicio, cierto, que no podemos hacer inflection con eh, la partícula tu previa. We exist to bring, not bring in. Okay. Next mistake. Siguiente error, ¿dónde está? We envision yes. to be. Okay. We vision is to be. Our vision could be in that way. To be the leader of the leader in the distribution of energy brings in the regional market. Okay. And number six. To becoming is correct. To My become. My vision is to becoming. No, it's not becoming. It's to become. The most super is along the Okay. Let me see the time that we have now. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope that all of you check it. A little bit though, I am best with the exercise. And number six, I'm going to assign you as a homework. I don't know if you are going to have time in order to resolve. No sé si van a tener tiempo para hacerlo, pero les voy a ubicar el número six. Para que piense un poquito, dice, your church is a local company. Or think of your own. Right, and an effective mission and vision statement for it. Assess your mission and vision statement using the checklist in the box. Okay, le queda entonces de tarea. Piense en una misión y una visión de alguna compañía. Okay, let me check out the tense the tenants again. Vamos a revisar una vez más la asistencia. America. America, are you there, America? No. No apareció America. Eh, Carlos, Amilcar. Present. Okay, thank you. 
Uh, Cecilia Maribel. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Edwin Alexis. Edwin Alexis. Edwin Alfredo. Edwin Alfredo. Esmeralda. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay, Gabi. Gisela Guadalupe. Gisela. Héctor Enrique. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Ingrid Geraldina. Present. Jonathan Pérez. Present teacher. José Ernesto Alemán. Present teacher. Catherine Paola. Present teacher. Ok. Mauricio Antonio. Mauricio Antonio. Mercedes Alejandra. Present teacher. Ok. Um, Roxana. Present teacher. Ok. Roxana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ok. Hold on a second. Sara Alejandra. Present. Ok. Uh, Sergio. Present. Janet. Yesenia. Ok, anybody else? Ok, thank you. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here because we are so close to finish. So if you have a question, just let me know, please. ¿Alguna pregunta que tengáis? La tarea, perdón. Ah. Eh, ¿La okay. va a subir al, al sitio o...? No, no, no. Solamente... No, solamente... Eh, Usted hace su misión y visión de su, de su lugar o, y luego la vamos a, a al inicio vamos a, a compartirla con los compañeros. No se va a subir a ningún lado. Ok, gracias. Yes, ok, thank you. Ok, if you have uh, any more questions, yes, thank you. Uh, this is the third class. And I Teacher, I mean, no. Hola. Me no la mencioné. Let me see, let me see here. Candy Natalie. Is that you? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah, Candy Natalie is here. Sí, está checada. Alguien. Okay. Candy Natalie Sanchez, she, she, yes, yes, she, you, are, you are there. Okay, thank you very much. And, okay, thank you. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night to all.